Welcome back to the Eddie Sutton Show. We're going to go to East Rutherford, New Jersey. Turned out to be a good place this year. Our fans that got to go with us had a tremendous time in Baltimore uh, in the first round and then also in, uh, in New Jersey because they got to go to New York City. And this was a send-off, and you can see uh, Coach Simmons and the football team came over to see us off, and we had uh, several hundred people there, and there you see us getting on uh, our charter, headed for uh, New Jersey, a great flight. And uh, we took the band, the spirit group, and uh, the players and the team and the coaches' wives. Had about a, a hundred, I think, on the charter. We're going to have a lot more people going to Seattle. I was amazed that uh, the number of ticket requests. You know, they some people were concerned we wouldn't sell 3,500, which is what every school gets. And we had a lot more requests yeah. than that. Well, here you are, Wake Forest. Tough Wake, team. Wake Forest had won 12 games in a row, had swept through the uh, ACC tournament, beating Duke and Virginia and the University of North Carolina. Great young center and uh, an outstanding guard in Childress. You know, Childress uh, had, had done something nobody had done since 1957. Lenny Rosen, Rosen, Rosenbluth, I think is his name. Scored 106 points. He scored 107, broke the record. You think all the great players have gone through there. But again, uh, our defense was just terrific. Andre Owens did an outstanding job on Childress. How about that Dun guy? And Keanu. Duncan got 22 rebounds uh, for their ball club, which is a lot. He's one of the great young players I've ever seen. He's only 18 years old, and there's Randy lighting it up. And you made a comment on Keanu Roberts. He just continues to get better and better, and he just had an out unbelievable game here. Randy with 23 points and three trays. Cowboy defense has just been phenomenal over the last month. The last seven games, the four games in the NCAA and the three when we won the Big Eight uh, tournament, we've held our opponents to 40% or less in all those games shooting from the field, and, that, and that's why we've won. Our, we've done a lot of other things well, but our defense has been the thing that has really carried us. You know what's so hard to do, there's a great play right there, but the, one of the toughest things I would think to do is to be able to concentrate, take one game at a time. You hear coaches say that all the time, but you guys have really been able to do that. We have been able to do it, and I think that's a credit to uh, our four seniors, uh, Rutherford, uh, Reeves, Pierce, and Collins. I, I really believe that they have been able to keep everything in focus, and that has filtered down to the underclassmen. They're Jason Scare. <laughs> he stepped forward, hit a couple of threes. One of them happens to be off the glass That's right here. Uh, there's always an element of luck, an element of luck involved in athletics. And look at that, he didn't even smile. He acted like he thought he was going to make that, didn't he? Look yeah, at Andre. Owens. There's a tremendous defensive play by Andre. A nice two-on-one break, and Keontae finishes it off. And a tray as well. Keontae finished with 13. One of the best games he's played all year. There's Childers getting into some tough territory. There you can right see there. we had five people surrounding him, and here's Andre taking it all the way to the hoop. One thing in this ball game, they got ahead of us, and uh, they're an outstanding ball club. And uh, we didn't fold. We fought back, and uh, when we did finally get the lead, we played uh, the game extremely well, played smart. You know, you guys don't surprise other coaches because they've seen you play, but some of the Eastern media can't believe the way you guys are knocking off people. <laughs> We gained a lot of respect on Tobacco Road down in the ACC <laughs> country and also in the eastern part of the United States after beating an outstanding Deacon Ball Club and then the minute minimum of University of Massachusetts. Two very good teams. Two teams that could win. If they go to the Final Four, they had a chance to win it because they've been playing well, and I think we did shock them, but uh, the people back east and in the southeast have a lot more respect for Oklahoma State right now. What well, great enthusiasm on the bench. And here you can see this guy hits a tremendous three. Rusty LaRue. And he's the quarterback on the football team. And a, a tremendous athlete. And there you can see R Randy gets fouled with about 20 seconds to go. He's so, pretty cool under pressure, isn't he? I would like to be in a foxhole with him <laughs> if we were in war because he's a tremendous competitor. You know where he's going to going to be. Now watch this. This turns out to be one of the key plays of the well, game. This is Childress, uh, the young man who scored 107 points in the ACC tournament. Watch this defensive play by Andre Owens and, and Brian Reeves. And you know he's going to take that shot because he's had a lot of game winners this year. Very alertly, they strip him and uh, lead pass to Terry Collins and uh, now you can light up that cigar and the fat lady starts singing. Beautiful finish to that game. Cowboys won it. 71-66 the final.
So the elite eight at that point, and uh, tell you what, you didn't have much time to relax or. Well, that's the thing. Like that. it, you don't need as many players. You know, this this week when we play UCLA, they're not playing as many players. Uh, North Carolina's not. I, I guess Arkansas probably has the most depth, but you can get by with seven or eight players. The first game when you go in the tournament, like getting prepared for UCLA, you put most of your emphasis on that game, and just as we did on Wake Forest, then you only have one day to get ready for right. the next game.